Hi y'all, I'm Allison. Today we are going to narrow down our list of possibilities for the December Start and Stop Buddy Read to three choices. I asked y'all to submit books that would fit December, you know, something Christmassy or lighthearted or wintry, and y'all came through once again. So let's take a look at which books y'all suggested, and then we'll spin the wheel to find three of those, and then we're gonna put it up for a vote. So first off, we need to know what books we're considering. The first on our list was recommended by Lucinda and it's The Christmas Pig by J.K. Rowling. So this middle grade fantasy came out in 2021. Lucinda's 28 year old daughter read it last Christmas and she said it had a really big impact on her. Next up, we have one recommended by Teresa at Sweet Tea Reads and this is The Christmas Murder Game. This mystery thriller came out in 2021 this actually one I own and haven't managed to get to yet. Then Fallon O'Connor suggested Away with Penguins by Hazel Pryor. This came out in 2020 and it's a contemporary. Fallon said even though this isn't a Christmas book, it does have a wintry vibe and it's a beautiful uplifting story. Brittany's Books and Random Things suggested The Christmas Town by Donna Van Leer. This came out in 2016 and it's a contemporary. Then Pagey Girl from Australia. She recommended A Merry Little Meet Cute by Julie Murphy and Sierra Simone. So this came out in 2022. It's a contemporary romance and it was last year's YouTube Festive Darling. Tanya Reed suggests Pies and Prejudice by Ellery Adams. This 2012 mystery is a cozy mystery is set in a small town Georgia and then Erica coming up she went in a different direction with Krampus by Brom and this came out in 2012 it's a fantasy horror another one that's been on my TBR for years but I've never gotten around to then with Cassie gave us the family game by Katherine Stedman this 2022 mystery thriller she read it last year and really wants to reread it from Sociel, we have Love Light Farms by B.K. Borison. It's a 2021 contemporary romance, fake dating, and a Christmas tree farm. And then Rogue Rosie gives us Murder at the Beacon Bake Shop by Darcy Hannon. This 2021 cozy mystery. It's not a Christmas book, but it is lighthearted and it has a Newfoundland dog good enough. Then Stacey Schultz, she suggests How the Grump Saved Christmas by Claire Kingsley. This came out in 2022. It's a contemporary romance that's available on Kindle Unlimited. And then rounding out our wheel, we have from Live a Thousand Lives, Snowed In for Christmas by Gabrielle Meyer. It's a 2021 romance, heartwarming about second chances and forgiveness. We've got a great list and I'm excited to narrow this list down and put it up to y'all for a vote. So let me pull up the wheel. We'll give it three spins and then y'all are going to vote for which one sounds best for us to all read together in December. Let's go grab the wheel. Okay, let's see what the first one is. A Merry Little Meet Cute by Julie Murphy and Sierra Simone. I read If the Shoe Fits by Julie Murphy and absolutely loved it. So I am excited that this one is a possibility. Let's find out what the other two are and then I'll tell you a little bit more about our three winners from today. Let's spin again. Ready? Okay, we get. The Christmas Town. Okay, that'll work. Can't think of anything off the top of my head for that one, but that's okay. Let's go spin again. Our last option is... The Family Game. Okay, so let's take a look at our three choices. A Merry Little Meet Cute sounds so fun. A semi plus size holiday rom com about an adult film star who's accidentally, kinda, 
Cass is a lead in a family-friendly a Christmas movie in the former a bad boy pop star that she falls in love with. So this could be a lot of fun if we want something a little steamy and, you know, maybe a little bit more on the contemporary edgy side of things. So that could be a fun option. Like I said, I really loved The Shoe Fits by Julie Murphy before. So Pagey Girl, this should be so much fun and thank you for recommending it. Then our second one was recommended by Brittany's Books and Random Things. And this was The Christmas Town by Donna Vanillier. Now we're going to the opposite end of the spectrum with this one. This is a heartwarming and uplifting story about finding hope and love for Christmas with the focus on small time charm, the empowerment of single mothers and families in need. So our main character is going to witness a accident on her way home from her unfulfilling job as a convenience store clerk. And she's going to be pulled into this small town as a witness to this wreck. And then she ends up staying and volunteering for a annual fundraiser for single mothers and families who need assistance. So, and maybe this town and the people will be what she has longed for and needed all of her life. So there's the opposite end of the spectrum from the Merry Little Meet Cute. I, I like this option. We, we've got either way we could go. And for our third book, it was, okay, this couldn't have worked out more perfect if I had tried. We've got, for our third option, The Family Game, which is a mystery thriller. So we've got three completely different books to pick from. I love that. And this one was recommended by With Cassie. This came out in 2022 and Cassie read it last year, loved it and really wants to reread it. So we've got a locked room mystery a game and family secrets with the holidays thrown in. And so let me see if I can get a little bit more detail on this one. Okay, there are four rules. One, listen carefully. Two, do your research. Three, trust no one. And four, run for your life. What more do you need? Okay, so we have Harriet, a novelist on the brink of literary stardom, engaged to Edward, who is the heir of a very powerful family. And even though Edward has tried to break ties with his family, news of his engagement has brought them back into their lives. So Harriet is drawn into their lavish world. The family seems welcoming. So when Robert, I think the father, yes, when Robert hands Harriet a tape he's been working on, a book, she thinks it's just a novel, but actually it's a confession. A confession to a grisly crime, a murder, and then the game is on. So they're either testing her loyalty or there is something much darker going on. And Harriet, whether she's ready or not, here they come. This sounds awesome. So three very different options for y'all to vote on. Like I said, this couldn't have turned out better. And I, I'm intrigued by all three. So what I'm going to do is over in the community tab, I will set up a poll with all three books. And then y'all will have until Wednesday, November 22nd, the day before Thanksgiving, until 6 p.m. Central Time, Texas. That's when I will close the vote. So again, you have until next Wednesday, November 22nd at 6 p.m. to pick which of these books you want us to read together in December. And I'm gonna give myself Thanksgiving weekend to get the video put together with the result. And the announcement will go up November 26th on Sunday at noon central. And we are going to do this buddy read like that following Saturday. We're going to do it early in the month to hopefully keep it feasible for everybody. Because I know the deeper we get into December, the busier the month's going to get. So plan on starting this buddy read December 2nd, right thereabouts. Okay, I'm excited. I can't wait to see what y'all are going to pick because we got a great list. And thank you, everybody, for all of your suggestions. This will definitely give me another list of books to pull from, especially when I'm looking for some more Christmas books or something to fit December. So, yay. There, there's a lot of great options on here. In fact, I'm intrigued by them all. Okay, I will see y'all tomorrow with our next installment of our current Stop and Start Buddy Read, which is Murder in the Family.
and we're getting at the very end. I can't wait to see how this one unravels. All right. Bye.